Hello, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add OpenAI into Google Docs. So here's an example where I took this uh, short description from a uh, makeup seller, uh, Elf, and I added in this custom menu where when you click on it, it's going to run a script that's going to rewrite it in a different voice. And there we go. It gets outputted, appended to the bottom of the sheet or the Google Doc. So we're going to learn how to do this. Uh, I actually already have done something pretty similar before. So I'll be sharing this uh, code on GitHub where you can find it. You'll want to click on this uh, Google Docs version. You can just copy and paste it. And I've also done a video on Google Sheets, which is also in here. And actually, we use the exact same function for a GPT in the Google Docs version. So it's actually it's not too different. So let's get started. First, we'll name it. Uh, this file something. Why don't we just call it AI demo YT? All right, open up extension, go into app script, and that's where we're going to code everything. So we'll delete this. So, first thing, I'm just going to copy this uh, GPT function I already made and, and I'll paste that right there. So, we have our GPT function right here, and we'll be using that later. Uh, I'll really quickly explain it. So, it just takes one thing as an input which is um, what is inputted to GPT. Uh, it needs a few things. So your API key, you're gonna actually have to go to your OpenAI API account, get your API key and paste that right in here for this to work. And then this is just a standard API request. Things where, it's a, where things are a little interesting is uh, options where you can uh, customize this a bit. So you have uh, the model. So I'm using GPT-4 125 preview, which is that one with a ton of tokens. You can change this model to 3.5 turbo, whatever you wanna use, put your model in here. Then you have a system message, which is like a message that uh, the OpenAI model gets before even getting a prompt. Enter this in to give some sort of info on how it should answer. And uh, last is temperature, which is sort of a randomness uh, variable. So zero is least random, one has the most kind of randomness. And uh, it sends that and then gets the AI output. So that's going to be our uh, GPT uh, function right here. So I'm actually going to hide that and we're going to work on our next function. It's going to be appending our. Um, AI answer. Um, yeah, so when I started this, I thought this was going to be super easy. I thought it was just going to have to be GPT and then um, put in your pre prompt. So, and then you just have the selected text. But it kind of, it, it actually was a bit more complicated than that, I realized, I, or I learned in Google Talk Docs, where all right, if you just want to select one line, very easy but when you want to select multi lines it starts to get a bit more complicated and there's things you need to sort of look out for like what if there's images or in between those or whatever so yeah there was actually a lot to take into account i have my code already written so let me just copy and paste it inside this function all right so there you go this is all of the code i had to do to get the selected text so everything up to from like line 42 to line Five is basically everything I had to do to be able to get just what is selected, what's highlighted, because that's what I want to put into my prompt. Once we get that, I made this new variable corrected text, and then I put inside of here a pre-prompt, and then we can write something in here like English. Maybe we'll do that. And then finally, if we have you know an actual output, we just append it to the bottom. So that's this function. Sorry, I couldn't really explain it too well, but it's going to be in my GitHub. So you guys will be able to use it. All right. So the last thing we have this on open function where we're going to create our own UI. So let me go through a few parts of this UI. This UI.create menu, this is whatever title you want your menu to have. So we can call it open AI. Then you have this add item. So the first thing is how the text for the menu will display, like what it will display as. So we'll say appends, enhances English. And then the second part is the function name. So in this case, AI append answer. And then you have to run this last part, AI to add to UI. 
you could add multiple menu items like we just have one but let's test out with just one all right so you can see i wrote up this um this description for a pair of headphones pretty uh in poor english i'll read an excerpt no more bad sound only good it play music move anything you like here have big boom boom sound noise me love tease big power so you know i think we can improve this right I hope ai improves this lex you gotta just save your project now and if you refresh this because it runs on open you'll see that this new uh, menu is here and we have our enhances english function so if we select this and we click it, it should run first time you run it it's going to ask you to do this authorization so just press OK, accept everything. Uh, you only have to do this once. So OK, all right, should be all good. So let's click it again now that we're authorized. And we can see these headphones are exceptional for listening. They deliver expansive and crystal clear sound enveloping your ears and allowing you to experience audio like never before. So I mean, from content writing i'm not sure if this is actually a good uh product description but it is uh significantly uh better english and structure than before which is what we set out for here let's why don't we add in a few more menu items really quickly i just want to show you guys how to do that so within ai append answer i'm actually going to change this to now have gpt run with call it a starter prompt and put some of the space between these two and that's going to now be an argument in here. And we're going to now make two new functions. So our function one will be, we'll call it English good. Why don't we make a English bad function actually? All right, so we got those two, and then we need to replace this with our new um english good function and we'll add another item what ruins your english and we'll add in our um english bad function here all right so if we save that and we delete this and you'll have to refresh this because you'll see it still only has one because it's on open it creates the menu so you need to refresh should have two. There we go. Enhances your English, ruins your English. Let's see what happens when we click ruins your English. Right to bad sound and hello. I actually don't mind this bad English one. Maybe we should run it again. The ruins your English. See if we can make it a bit worse. Um, well, I mean, that shows that maybe that shows something about me that I like the bad English version. But um, you get you guys get the idea. I mean, you can highlight these and run these scripts so we can run the enhance english one we can highlight just part of it right now i mean it just appends to the bottom so that's it i hope this tutorial was helpful thanks for watching and uh, remember everything is going to be on the github so i'm going to post a link in the description for this tutorial you're going to want the google docs version if you want to learn how to do this in google sheets which is super useful i definitely recommend checking out my uh, google sheets version and using that code as well all right thanks for watching like and subscribe bye bye